How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Salamander Wilds, and I've got quite an interesting video for all of you today. Did you know that salamanders glow in the dark? Well, if you didn't, you're about to find out. So, behind me I've got uh, two of my eastern newts, and in particular, I have two different regional variants here. Um, just a quick shout out, I don't know if the subscriber uh, even watches the channel anymore. Um, he used to when the channel was uh, just starting out. And I was sent this uh, really beautiful Eastern Newt, the Central Newt. Let me just flip the camera here. So we could see um, the differences here. The Eastern Newt, Veridescens, Veridescens, uh, over to the right, and that is a male. You could tell by the swollen cloaca and that uh, tail fin going on, right? And you can also see by the black pads on the hind legs and toes, right? Those are used during amplexus. And then we have this, the central newt right here. And uh, this one is actually a female, it turns out. The central newt on the left, you can see the lack of red spots and uh, I did see that there were a few but they're so so tiny they're almost not even there and that is one of the notable uh, differences between the two regional variants the central newt darker a uh, few red spots if any at all and then veridescens veridescens over here to the right is uh, the typical eastern newt that you would see right so with that out of the way, um, I just want to give a quick shout out. Um, if you are still watching, the Central Newt, the one that you gave me, uh, is doing excellent still to this day. Yeah, so as I just mentioned a moment ago, right, salamanders and glowing in the dark, what's that all about? Well, these Eastern Newts back here, um, they biofluoresce. That is not to be confused with bioluminescence. Uh, bioluminescence is more well known in deep sea fish, although there is biofluorescence down there as well. But the difference is bioluminescence is the organism creating its own light, right, within the cells of their body. Biofluorescence, you need a source light, an excitation light to shine on the organism and they will fluoresce a light back. And, well, I have a kit right here to do just that. We have the Night Sea Excite Fluorescence Flashlight System, right? This is pretty cool. It was also very pricey, <laughs> but I think this is going to be really well worth it. Um, we've got quite a few things here. So, we do have the excitation light, the flashlight that we're going to use, specifically blue light. Blue light actually works better than UV light. Right, so that's what we have. We've got a little, um, you know, lens cover here to uh, protect the flashlight. Um, got a charger. Right, this charges the rechargeable battery via USB, and uh, it's actually really neat. This little indicator up top is uh, actually surprisingly um, clear and vivid for something so small. I didn't expect it to light up the way that it does. So really cool stuff. Um, very helpful and then another battery extra down there and then we have The thing that's really gonna make the magic happen here, right? The night sea bringing fluorescence To light. I mean, this is just really cool. Um, this is a pair of goggles glasses if you want to call them that right So we have these goggles um, that are yellow this is what we need to pair with the excitation light because we cannot see that fluoresced light with the visible eye. This is gonna filter all the other light so that we can see that uh, fluorescence back at us. So this is gonna make the magic happen. Now, for all of this to work, um, these, both of these are paired specifically according to certain measurements, right? The blue light that comes from this um, is a specific wavelength. And, uh, you know, this long pass filter was made to match specifically with the wavelength of this flashlight. So, uh, you know, it, it definitely took some research. Um, 
and other information to figure out where to find these. But uh, this is the correct, um, you know, the, the correct light source and long pass filter to use. So we're going to check this out tonight. I'm going to make sure the room is completely dark. Uh, we want to make sure that all other excess white light, um, we don't want any contaminants. We want to see just the light that is being fluoresced back at us. So I will uh, start up the recording again in just a moment and see all of you later. All right, so here we are. It is nighttime and I have set up the two newts in this little holding tank and uh, I am shining that blue uh, excitation source light on them right now. So as it stands, you really can't see any fluorescence, but that is why we have that um, long pass filter. This is what it looks like right now, but let's see what happens when I add that filter in front of the camera. What is fluorescing back at us right now? If we could get a clear shot. This is the central newt. And if you look very carefully, the spine, that is fluorescing at us right now because the bone is closer to the surface of the skin. So we can see that fluorescing actually quite nicely. Now, what about the Eastern Newt right here? Let's see if we could get a good reflection. Let's see if we could get a good, oh, look at that. It actually has some red fluorescing from it because it probably has a little bit of uh, algae film on it. So that's, uh, yeah, that would be the cause of that. And if you look, we still have the same situation going on here. Uh, we do have the spine fluorescing back because that bone is closer to the surface of the skin of that animal. And also, we should also see the more vibrant parts of the animal fluoresce a little better as well, right? So you can see the yellow right there, um, where the yellow would be. We're getting uh, some of that fluorescence as well. And the same thing with the central newt. That's lighting up. So, depending on the species, depends on the pattern of fluorescence that you get. And look, look at the skull. Look at the skull. The skull, wow. Let's, let's get a better look at that, right? The skull on the central newt. The skull is lighting up. That's something else, huh? All right, so one thing I noticed with the central newt, and I kind of think this makes it just a little more interesting, look at that. Let's get a nice shot at that skull. And I didn't see this in the other one, but look at those glowing eyes, right? Look at the glowing eyes on that. Yeah. So um, maybe I would have to shine that light the right way with uh, viridescence. Um, but this is the central newt. So pretty big difference in my opinion. Um, again, I might have to shine it just the right way. Maybe I'll do that real quick to kind of isolate the two instead. I decided to isolate my biggest male viridescence. And now if he sits still, let's see. Wow, his spine really, really, really fluoresces. I mean, that was immediately, yeah, that's immediately obvious. Look at that. His legs too. His legs are really, really fluorescing. Wow, look at this, look. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, his eyes, his eyes are going. Yeah, we could see this fluorescence coming through. Um, yeah, the eyes a little bit, but I, I'd say the eyes are most prominent in that central newt still. I see it a little bit in this, uh, in the viridescence. His body just lights right up when that light is shined. 
directly on them. So, very interesting stuff. Very cool. And, you know, you, you really get to see different patterns depending on the individuals, even within, um, you know, even within the same species. So that's uh, very, very interesting stuff. Very cool. And, you know, uh, if the opportunity presents itself, which I will most definitely try to make it happen, um, let's see how other species glow in the dark with this method. It's really cool stuff. Alright, so I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you all enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like, share, comment down below. Please subscribe. Your support is always very much appreciated. Hoping you all got a really different and unique perspective here on these animals that you don't normally get to see. And until next time, everyone, stay curious, journey into the salamander wilds, and perhaps you'll see the glowing newt or salamander.